something still struggling? Are we good? What? We're we're here. Anna, but you're like off camera. Yeah. Are you intentionally oh, okay, there you go. I'm trying to fix my feed so I can see the show as we do it. Oh, I, I gotcha. Okay. Uh, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, joining me tonight is Christian. What up? And Anna. Hello. Goodbye. So, yeah, back to the uh, regular show after we've, you know, went off and, you know, did special figures and Christian has been gone and then we did, you know, ouch my wallet. So now we're back. I was gone. Yeah. Yeah, you're on vacation. There you go. Look at you. I did go on vacation. It was fun. It's pretty nice. So, we've also had like a lull in figures. Uh, so we're uh, we're getting to the bottom of the barrel here of uh, stuff we can, you know, review and whatnot. So kind of a lull in figures. I mean, if you all collected the cool stuff like I do, like we could have totally talked about this lady who's currently holding up my stuff. My Figma psycho lady, but hey, you're the no. one that chose not to show her off and showed off that like baby carriage thing instead. So mm, that's way cooler than everything. Sure, because people know about Cycleon. People don't know about baby carriage moth thing. That that is the true, people I deserve guess. to be informed. Do they? Yes. Uh, I, I don't know. So, so tonight, who are we reviewing, Christian? We're talking about the Decius Army drone from Netflix Wave Three. Woo! One of the multiple army builder figures in this wave. So, will these figures actually, actually show up in the show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, DC. Yeah, the Decius drone did. Oh, yeah. he did in the the second one. I couldn't remember. Yeah, they're the oh. guards, the generic Ironhide guards. I honestly thought they looked more white than black in the cartoon, but... I thought they were grayish. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really see black with silver flakes, but hey, you know... That's, that's what we have. It looks nice, so we can't complain too much. And the black allows people to have him as the Diaclone Ironhide, right? So I, I'm not kinda. sure. Is that kind of like the monkey's paw thing? It's like, oh, give me a black Ironhide... Meaning you want uh, the Diaclone one, and it's like, here you go. It's, you know, dead army Ironhide. You're like, woo. No, he's not dead. Why, why do you think these are dead? They're not dead. Ah, oh, okay. Is this one not dead? No, they're totally Doesn't fine. it say, isn't drone part of his name? Yeah. Drone is not a good word to have for a sentient organism. I didn't say he was sentient. I said he's not dead. Okay. Okay. Well, we won't get into an argument on whether or not sentient things or non sentient things are dead, because that doesn't make any sense. Look, we have two actual dead figures in this wave. This is not one of them. Yes, it is, however, another unnamed specific character generic. Yes. In this whole wave, we have, what, three named people who are actually real people? <laughs> it's true. Cheetor, Primal, Retra. Megatron before. <laughs> Always a Megatron. Did I miss the deluxe? Deep cover, but no. Nope. Deep blue rollback. Yeah. Yep. Three actual characters. That's okay. Did you say Cheetor? Can't remember. I did say Cheetor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, there's mostly these generic guys. But, you know, like we've talked about before, I think it's an interesting thing to give us a little bit of this. Because it's something that, you know, Transformers hasn't had a lot of. If you're really into Beast Machines, you have the perfect opportunity to drone build. But most of the time, we just get specific name characters. So, hmm. it's interesting. This guy doesn't have a name, didn't really have a personality or anything. There are a bunch of him. I did buy two of them to go with my Pit of Judgment display. There you go. So, Anna, what made you decide to get this instead of the other, whatever, dead car thing? I have it. Oh, I didn't realize that you had the... Oh, I have all the generics. The generics are uh, exciting to me. 
I I was originally going to have this be another dead person because I mean it's generic so whatever but I decided he looks cooler as some sort of like night thing so he as he cool. even said yeah he looks good like this I mean black can really make any good any figure look good I think yes yeah. and throwing some red accessories on it that will not do you wrong <laughs> and you know. We've, we've complained about space mud for years at this point, but this is the first time I think it's actually used well. Because there's just silver all over him, which actually helps bring out some of the details as opposed to just being kind of slapped on there for no reason. Sure. It's actually a good know. use would of space you mud. Rather, would you rather have the space mud on this one or not? Like, would you have rather have had a black one? Um, they'd have to use some secondary color somewhere. Um, only if they were going to make it really be dye clone would I have preferred that. Yeah. If it was just solid black, I don't think it'd be very interesting. Well, I mean, not solid black, but like maybe like gold accents or silver accents or something like that. Yeah, maybe. I don't think the character in the show is black, so I'm glad he has at least the silver on him. Or yeah. character. The unit. <laughs> Units. Yeah, it's, it's back to Siege Ironhide. We've seen this before. Yeah, that no, vehicle is still just as okay as it has been. Yeah, I mean, I don't it's know. a four, I fourth version of it now. Neat. I, I don't mind it. I don't hate it's it. It's got a cool purple windshield. Yeah, and that's true It's kind of blue, but it's purple. It's purple. And if I can show you real close here, he's got a cool new Quintesson symbol. I don't know if that's focusing. That's, I don't know if that's focusing. Neither of us is really focusing. We're trying. We're trying. I don't know. Does this... Got a little cool better. Quint symbol. And neon green. Which is neat. Neat little touch. And also the missiles here are also neon yeah. green. Ta-da. Like I said, I did get two so I could army build. I didn't need three. There's not enough room in the Pit of Judgment display cube to do that. But I bought two. So I can hang out with my quints and sharks and alligators and yeah, they look cool together. And they do. They did. I've had them together and have disassembled. I've got to reassemble. So where's the dead army going, Christian? They're gonna have their own cube. Hmm. Are you gonna army build that or? I bought two of each: two Sparkless oh, Seeker, okay. two Sparkless Cars, whatever they're called. <laughs> sparkless Troopers. Sparkless. I think they're called Sparkless Bot. That's the actual name of them. Sparkless Bot and Sparkless Seeker. Are their names? It's about two of each. I figure they can zombie each other. Zombie I have together. to decide what I want to do with the Sparkless bot because I think that as is, his deco is kind of weird. Like, he just comes off a little strange. But I think if you, you did some slight alterations to him, he could look good. But I should save that for when we talk about him, which I think we're going to do with the Sparkless Seeker here in yeah, a bit. Next week. The, the Sparkless Seeker, I don't know, Christian, like, that thing hasn't shown up anywhere, has it? The Sparkless Seeker? I don't know. I don't think sure. so. You, you, seem, you seem to uh, be very confident that it's actually going to ship. Look, man, I go ship. by the Pulse ship dates, and Pulse is saying they're yes. shipping them to me on 6-15. Yes, they've never delayed a shipment. Never, ever. No, nope. Never. Large companies never make mistakes. It's fine. So, but they should be soon. Yep. But yeah, so I mean, I I do agree that the the space mud doesn't look bad on this figure. Um, I don't know. I like the silver space mud in general. Like, I, I think if I yeah, I like a lot better, better than choice. like the copper color stuff that they had on like Optimus Prime and whatnot. So yep. I agree. Look horrible. So. Yeah, and as of, go ahead. Anna, you go. As of this recording, we had just had another reveal of the um, premium finish figures just recently. The Bumblebee Optimus and the Megatron. And they both have their own kinds of battle damage slash space mod. So I Is think it? that it's around to say... Is it sad that I'm kind of tempted? I was like looking at that Megatron. And oh, no, like, Lucas. Why do I need the Netflix? I was like, I already have the Netflix one. But then it's I was looking at it. It's both of the Netflix Megatrons. They're the same. It's got red accents and the others don't. Yeah. It looks a paint like marker. that the battle damage is slightly 
cooler. Um, no, it's the same. No, it's got Lucas, the same scratch marks on the chest. I don't know. It's expensive. It's the same darn figure again. You're already going to own 47 of those. Right. But, I mean, this way I can own 47 of them. So, I mean, now I did draw the line on that, uh, the leader pack one. Unless that goes on clearance. I still have that ordered. We'll see. So, I mean. I don't know if I'll keep it. I go back and forth on it every week. It has to go on clearance. There's no way it won't. Yeah. Like, Nemesis has to go on clearance. No, Nemesis was a cool figure. So, I mean, this is like, the Megatron's good, but they've released him like 50 times, so. We'll see. We'll see. I've heard another interesting thing about this uh, Decius drone, though. So we've talked about that's kind of vaguely Diclone-ish. But I think more than being vaguely Diclone-ish, it feels like a classics version of movie Ironhide to me. Mm, that too. It's very not. But the black and the silver, it's like, hmm, is it though? Maybe. So I guess if you wanted to, you know, shoehorn him into, if you have some sort of classics movie dudes collection, maybe this could be your dude for that. I don't know. Yeah, because you get black hang out the barricade. Cool. Yeah, they get hate each other. I do feel like too that the space mud doesn't bother me as much on generic characters as it would the regular characters you know Maybe that's right because one his deco can't be wrong because he doesn't right. have one and he doesn't exist prior to right this. yeah i mean yeah that makes sense yeah no so, that does make perfect sense like it doesn't matter to me but i i don't know generally i don't like it very much but it's okay on him well and then they also painted the gray which is like kind of something that's different um I don't think they, they've done... Have they done that on other figures? Like, you know what I mean? Like, painting painting the gray, like, or putting battle damage on the gray like they did? Mm-hmm. I think yeah, that's new. The shoulder pieces and the bumper. The kind of smeared. Well. Yeah, the feet. Uh, like, we've seen it on the feet, for uh, sure. We've seen it yeah. there. But the shoulders and the bumper before? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Seems new. I'm willing to be wrong, but I don't know. And unlike the... Like, these guys have had a ton of paint, generally. But he has less paint than most of them, right? Like, the black isn't paint. The black's just plastic? Yes, all of the black is plastic. Okay. So, yeah, he's a little less painted than his friends. Which is fine, because it looks just fine. Black plastic always has a nice sheen to it. Yeah. I think the sparkless bot got a lot of the paint. Yeah. And rollback got a lot of paint. Yeah. On the sparkless bot, it's for better or for worse. But we'll talk about that soon as we compare him to some sort of wooden puppet bot. (laughs) Yeah. But rollback got a lot of paint, even though it's very subtle. It just kind of ties all the vehicle mode together, which is good. And then Cheetor. Did we talk about Cheetor? Yeah, we talked about Cheetor. He's fine. He's got the same amount of paint, I think, as the retail release. And this guy's a good figure. He's a big figure. He's got all the positive things about the first Ironhide release. I think the the leg panels are still loose, right? Um, Mine are actually a bit tighter than they used to be. Yeah, they're not. They're fine for me. Mine are pretty loose, but I, I think it's always been a little bit random. Right, yeah. That's what I was going to say on these. I feel like it's just a complete roll of the dice, you know, how the yeah. light panels are for yours. So Bummer. The first Ironhide was definitely loose, but um, these seem to be okay. So. But. Yeah, they're not bad, bad. Mine just come off pretty easily when I mess with it, but it's not terrible. And they're not small enough that I'm going to lose them if they fall on the ground, so I'm okay with that. You know, just like we talked about before. The the battle damage is, like, on the inside of the panel, too, which wasn't the case, like, on the Ironhide, so. Yeah, that was new. They pretty much put it everywhere. Two-sided battle damage is kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I do. I do like this mold, though. Like, it's always been a good mold. Like that alt mode is just it's, it is what it is. I think the alt mode actually looks better in black than it does in red. 
or white. Yeah. It looks best as crosshairs, but I think it, it does a good job here as well. I like that this one gives me another reason to keep this mold because I'm getting rid of Ratchet and Ironhide. Or, yeah, Ratchet and Ironhide. Keeping crosshairs, of course, but uh, it's it's nice to have another one because this is a good mold. It's just I have now better Ratchet and Ironhide, yeah. so I don't need this as Ratchet right. and Ironhide anymore. Yeah, I, I was like, I was pleasantly surprised that just because I own this, you know, I'm holding up the Earthrise Ironhide, I don't like this less. I was afraid I would get this and be like, why isn't he a real van? This is poop and throw it over my shoulder. But I'm actually still fine with it, but, especially since it isn't a specific character and it is just a drone I who mean, I can I, repurpose into whatever. I don't know. I still go back and forth on which one I like better, you know, like, oh, I that's like good. Both, so. I don't know. I, I have a hard time with, with those. It's kind of the same thing as like Ultra Magnus and whatnot. Like I don't, like I like both of them. There's certain things I like better or like the Optimus Prime, you know, like all, all of those ones, like I don't mm -hmm. know. They're they're different. They're not like, for, for me it's not necessarily one's better than the other. It's just they're different. Yeah, this is the only one I think is just straight better for me. I, I like this just straight better. Like the um, the Prowl and Friends mold, I think they're both great. Um, the Optimuses, I think, are both great. The Magnuses are both <laughs> mediocre. Yeah, I think they're all generally the great, good toys. But for me personally, I just prefer the Earth modes over the Cybertronian modes this time around. I used to like Cybertronian moons a lot, but this doesn't feel Cybertronian enough. None of them really did to me. Right, yeah. No, that, that's really the kind of the, the thing is, is that they weren't different enough. You know? It was like, no, he's just a grumpy rectangle. Point, but, yeah. yeah, like if you throw me, throw me some War Within or um, War for Cybertron, the games, I, I'm, I'm in love with those Cybertronian designs. These it never really hit with me. Maybe I'm just old now, or maybe they're not good enough. I don't know. It's one of those two things. I could be old. The um the hammer thing that's a positive. Like I don't have mine displayed, but yeah, Lucas say, says you don't have the hammer, so yeah, I don't know who's holding it right now. Someone else is using it. Damn. It's one yeah, of it's those accessories it's I nice really paint. like. It's got a paint fade on it too, which is cool. And it's nice to have an option to use it as a hammer again because I'm like Christian. I'm not keeping the Ironhide and Ratchet and Crosshairs is a fill right with a hammer. So he always has it as a gun thing. Yeah. Just doesn't feel right to give my target master a hammer, but. So. Maybe I'm stereotyping the robot. It was nice that these came up on Pulse. I was able to get mine at a, uh, a local Walmart, which was great. But I know you two got them from Pulse, which is super cool of them to do. Yeah. I yes. They continue doing it. I don't think I've like actually seen these at my local Walmart, which is weird. Like mo most of the time we have plenty and they still haven't gotten it in. So I don't know. Maybe they got it in and it sold out, but I didn't see. I don't it. know. We haven't seen any postings in the local groups either for them. So I kind of think they just yeah. haven't showed up. I found uh, one Cheetor in person one time. And then I got a notification from one of the local North Carolina groups that one of the Walmarts, like, 40 miles away from me had it. And my dad lives closer there. And he went and picked up all my group for me. It was great. Nice. There you go. Yeah, it worked oh, out super well for you. I did find one lone Cheetor on, on a yeah. peg in Kansas City. So it, at least one shipment showed up. So it won't They've been work. socked. Cheetor has been socked. Yeah, it's just better, I think. If, if, especially for people like us who are, like, you know, really in it as, like, hardcore fans to just be able to order that stuff and have oh. it delivered when it comes in it makes you feel less bad about your pulse membership if you're going to be sitting there staring and thinking "Ooh, i moved some stuff to gamestop and i moved some stuff to big bad toy store blah 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 and here i'm not getting enough out of my pulse membership then then you get moments like this where you're like i was saved walmart hunting and walmart hunting is poop so something is the worst hunting I it is the worst yeah. hunting i hate it so much I just hate it is absolutely like worth Walmart, 50 bucks a year to not have to hunt at Walmart ever again. Yeah. 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 And in, like, honestly, like, I know that 
neither of you are the wildest hunters that I've heard of, and I'm not much of a hunter at all, but I know some people spend a lot of gas money <laughs> hunting for figures. And Pulse can save you there. Except if you're not good with delay of gratification. If you're not good with delay of gratification, then you'll still hunt. Yeah. Which is so fine. the new new season of the show, the release yeah, date announced, announced today for us. Today for us. If you're watching in the future, it was, you know, today. July 29th, is that right? That is yeah. right. It will mm-hmm. finally be over. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's about how I feel, too. Remember a year ago, we were like, oh, it's coming. We're going to be so happy. It's finally for adult collectors. No, no, it was not. It is. It's not for kids. It's just probably not for anyone. It's not for anyone. Yeah, I don't know. I do know that if Kong is really dead, I'm going to riot. He's probably dead. He's the only character I care about in this whole thing. Uh. Yeah, we did leave with a cliffhanger on both the life of Cog and Alita, so both of the characters each of us liked. Alita's like number two for me. Yeah, she's number one for me. Cog is probably number two because all the main characters are stupid. They're all bad. Jetfire's fine. Jetfire. I forgot about Jetfire just because he was barely in season two. Jetfire's, Jetfire's fine. Like three. Anyway, um, <laughs> the thing is when. When Dinobot shows up and he's like, oh, Jeff Fire, we're the same guy. <laughs> That'll be very oh, confusing. What's going to happen? Dinobot's not even going to transform, though. He's just going to be a Velociraptor or Utah. Now, Raptor, they did show that preview today that shows the the auto, the auto Maximal team and the Predacon team watching the ships fall. Which suggests that it's going to be like, oh, the Beast Wars guys were already on Earth, and they're going to do things. And that sounds silly, so we'll see. <laughs> I was thinking earlier, like, as a, as someone who started with G1, right? Like, I guess I'm not a g one by any means, but as someone who is primarily a G1-style fan, um, I've been having my series rewritten as gritty adult fiction over and over for years. And now the Beast Wars kids get it. Now the Beast Wars kids are going to get gritty Beast Wars. It's going to be fantastically awful. And then we're getting a movie. Maybe. Is that still happening? The Cyberverse stuff? No, not the Cyberverse garbage. What do you know? There's like a lot of action. You mean the actual movie? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I don't know if... Could also be great. Is that official, though? Like, I don't... I, I thought don't, it was official. I've heard two know. different things about it, though, so who knows. Okay. It's I thought it got a director. It's consistent rumors, but we'll see. I couldn't remember if the movie was supposed to be a continuation of the, you know, B movie or whatever, or if it was actually Beast Wars. I could... No one knows. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, just to remember... He is from the third set of Walmart Netflix figures, right? Yeah. This was the third, third and set. And as far as we know, final. So this should be it for Walmart this Netflix figures. It. Which is sad because they have been fun decos. It's good because they are repaints of existing characters mostly. But I still think it's a little sad because they have been fun. Yeah, I could have used another wave or two. I mean, you know, it been a way to get like Slicer or... I don't know. Some other seeker. Bitstream would have been good. Sunstorm would have been good. One thing I don't mind is walking away from Walmart exclusivity. I know we'll get some other Walmart exclusive in the future, but I always like walking away from Walmart exclusivity. True. I don't know. It would be interesting because, like, I would think that Walmart would have some type of exclusive for the fall and winter, right? They will. That's the Beast Wars reissue line. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's true. They'll always have some sort of exclusive, but right. I don't mind when exclusives end. <laughs> yeah, but these, these were mostly fun. The yeah. first wave was kind of uh, but uh, after that, it's good. Yeah. It's been fun, especially as someone who's not a completionist. Like, for me, it's been kind of great because I can look at the look at these issues and be like, do I like this more than the first time they put this character out? Which one do I want? Which is cool for me. 
Although I've replaced like almost no one with the Netflix people. The only one I've gotten Netflix for is Deep Cover, who I'm not even using as Deep Cover. Not Deep Cover. It was disappointing that this wave didn't come with any pack-ins. The first two waves, you could assemble the arc scene. It's true. And yeah. this has nothing, which is disappointing. That was a bummer for me, because I went back to getting these. Because I skipped wave two mostly. And then I go back to this, and it's like, nothing. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. It's, it's four figures. I mean, they could have made something small. It took them eight to make the last one. Or eight, or... 10? Is it 10? I mean, 10. Whatever. There's a lot of pieces to get it all together. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't think it was worth it. Yeah. It does feel like it's a little bit less value, though. I guess. <laughs> I just wanted to build it since I never got to build it. I built it. It was crappy. My sister revamped it. Now it's not crappy. Well, that's good. Uh, what does that look like? Let me show you. Sure. Can you show us without the world exploding too much? Yeah. All right. Anna, are you tapping on something? Oh, sorry. Involuntary leg twitch. Mm. Something is metal on my desk right now, making an annoying sound. My bad. Uh. My apologies to everyone listening at home. Christian is bringing us to something. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I'm excited. The other thing that he showed off from his sister was pretty nice. Oh, that looks real good. Yeah. He was just reinforcing that cardboard. That, yep, that's exactly what she did. And that's all it needs. You know, it just needs to be nice. Yeah, I assembled it by itself. It was very floppy. It fell over immediately. But uh, she took it, taped it together, reinforced it with some cardboard. You know, it's good. Yeah, the art, I noticed, had good dimensionality when I was looking at the little bit I have. Just, like, it, it sucks you in a little bit, so it, even though it's a flat surface, and I think on a nice cardboard reinforcement, it looks real good. Yep. She was very nice to do that for me. No, it's super cool. I would love to do that to mine, except I didn't get it. <laughs> I like two pieces. Yeah, I, I think I sent some enough. pieces to you, right, Christian, to finish yours? I think so. You sent me some. Nick sent me some. Yeah. You want some, maybe? I think Serge sent me one. I'll just make a nice cardboard thing like you have, and then for the ones I'm missing, I'll just draw them with pencil. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll look great. It'll look just there like yours. Go. There you go. I use yeah, colored pencils, so it's like... Closer. That'll be that'll be fine. It doesn't fit in a Detolf cube, which as King Detolf it was pretty not not great, but it does fit on my dumpster shelf, which is rather nice now. There, there you go. It's got dumpster shelf's yeah. got to represent. So, so would you recommend uh, this this guy? The DC yeah. throne? Yeah, go get him. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I like when else are you going to get a DC throne figure? That's true. DC is the you know the most pivotal character from season two of the netflix show they were important no they were not they were bad and caused trouble yeah that they did they were more important than scorpionok i can't argue there can't argue there <laughs> oh, uh, i really uh, thought it couldn't get worse after season one and it did I think if he can find this guy, um, you know, he'll probably show up in sh stores randomly for quite some time and he might show back up online and you like it, get it. It's a fun deco and, you know, use your creativity. It doesn't have to be a boring drone for a cartoon you didn't like. It can be whatever you want it to be. It can yeah, be Ron, your Diaclone version. It can be whoever you need it to be. Ron said he finally uh, sold out on Pulse, so we had to wait for the review for him to sell out. So that we could, yeah, uh, that's what we do. That's what we do. We always make sure to review things you can't get. Can't get. <laughs> yeah. I remember when we originally started the show, Lucas. One of the reasons I um, 
one of the reasons I proposed we start doing this was to review things specifically you could get easily. Look at that draft. Look where look what we have become. Hey, if we were like cool, cool, fancy reviews, we could get advanced figures and, and review them for people. That's true. No. We get our figures same time as everybody else. Sorry that I don't have the hookup at the factory in Vietnam or whatever. To, uh, you should. You, you should work on that. The shelf. Yeah. Yeah. Don't work on that. That seems yeah. nasty. No, no. Let's 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 not become any. <laughs> let's never change. Well, um, do we have anything else to cover before we uh, sign out here? I hope this is the last version of this mold. Dean? I think we have one more. Oh. I think it's in the, the premium line. Oh. oh yeah. Premium the line, hide? The line that Anna's not getting. Probably none of. I probably won't get any of that line. I, I know there's one that you're definitely going to get if it's good. Has it been announced yet? I mean, it's in the silhouettes. Oh, they're silhouettes? Oh, I haven't yeah. looked at those yet. I need to. Oh, no, it's Springer. You're getting Springer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have heard that one. Yeah, I'm, I probably will. I don't know, though. That $53 price tag is kind of making my nose wrinkle a little. Yeah. Yeah, what's $53 these days? What's $53? <laughs> no, maybe, maybe, Anna, you can buy the... the uh, Seed Springer off of me whenever I get there. We go. One. I give you a dollar. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, book club this week is going to be more than meets the eye 39 through 41. So, uh, join them at Sunday nights at 9 30 Eastern, 8 30 Central. So, yeah, we'll have fun. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat, Ron, Randall, Catherine. And remember, if you have any requests for things you want to see out of us, since we're kind of in a lull with toys a little bit, feel free to let us know if there's anything you want to see, even if it's something random and old you think we might have. Asking never hurts. Anna, you're just trying to do that so that they say whatever random weird figure that you have. And what's like, wrong right, with the that, fans Lucas? What is the fans wrong with want that? My weird, weird stuff. I want to share robot diversity. What is wrong with that? Well, when you like don't have Transformers, it's supposed to be a Transformers show, Anna. Yeah. Transformers like you have cosplayers dressed as Transformers. I don't know. That seems like that's on the line. I don't know. Almost everything I show is a transforming action figure. Okay. Occasionally it doesn't. That's not the rule. There are no rules. We'll just give you your own show. You can start cut the crap for real. Very I do own. need to start cut the crap. I, I do have do have some yeah. time this summer. Yeah. So Alright, well, Thanks, guys, and we will see you next week. Bye. Take care, everyone.